It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan. And yes, he happens to be my father as well. Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this glorious October weekend? Actually, we're uh, almost, This is, I guess this is technically Halloween weekend because Halloween is this week. Well, maybe that's why the market got spooked this week, right? Because Halloween's coming up. Well played, Bob. I like that. The play on words there. Spooked <laughs> markets. But yes, the markets have been very fearful. We've obviously had a lot of volatility, so we have a lot to talk about today. And we have a lot of thoughts about that and you know, essentially how that affects your planning and investing. So let's hop to it. We've got a great show this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about metaphors and financial planning. We're going to talk about some of the more widely used metaphors and how we can apply them to your financial life. We're going to talk about 401k mistakes. What mistakes are you making with your retirement accounts? Bob and I are going to discuss the most common missteps when it comes to making decisions on your 401k or whatever retirement account you may have, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot out there in the media, the financial media rather, that you need to avoid at all costs. And we have our spotlight segment. We're going to have our debut for one of our financial advisors today. Emily DeValent is going to talk about a real retirement plan she worked on, talk about how she helped a couple get on their path to financial freedom so we can help you do the same thing. So let's get right to it. Got a lot to cover this morning. So Bob, when it rains, it pours is one of those metaphors that I think about, but actually you say it better. You always say bad news comes on the installment plan, which means when that bad news starts coming, it doesn't quite stop right away. A lot of you don't remember what installment plans are. We used to buy our holiday presents and our furniture, you know, at Sears when I was a kid. You know, you would, you would make a purchase and you couldn't pay it all off. We didn't have a lot of credit cards back then. And you would just make a monthly or weekly check out to Sears to, to make your purchases. Wasn't that um, like putting things on layaway? Isn't that what they called that? Or is that uh, a yeah, different it's concept? putting on layaway. And, <laughs> you know, they don't do that anymore. You know, they, right. and that's probably why Sears is gone now. Yes, Sears is gone only in the last two weeks. It's gone bankrupt. Hence, when it rains, it pours. Yeah, and I mean, I think, you know, a good example of this too is that, that remember at the bottom of the market, 2008 into 2009, it's just the market kept going down, going down. And you may have gotten to a point where like, I just can't take it anymore the news just kept getting worse and worse and you may have sold. And of course, a couple of weeks, a month or two later, the market started recovering and they've gone higher ever since. And it seems like the market has a great ability to get you to that point, Bob, where you just can't take it anymore. And that just ends up, you know, you end up making really bad investment decisions, basically. Really do because, you know, it's normal human behavior to project the future based on your most recent experience. And you know, it's hard for anyone to realize that October 3rd, we were at an all-time record high on the Dow, just the, you know, 13, 14 sessions ago. And, you know, now we're having a correction in the marketplace. And and if you're a speculator and you need to be right on the short term, it'll tie your patience. The market will do whatever it has to do to push you to make the bad decision. Because when bad news comes, it keeps coming until you act. Yeah, which reminds me of the other old saying, you never know, right? I mean, let's face it, that's crazy. The market was an all-time high two weeks ago. I don't think anyone predicted that we'd have this big sell-off in October, right? I mean, there was no... Oh, wait a minute, why? Wait a minute, come on. <laughs> what happened to that crystal ball I gave you when you graduated from Villanova? <laughs> it hasn't worked. It didn't work then, doesn't work now. And that's, that's what I love too, Bob. The financial pundits now are going to say, well, I told you so. You know, I told you this was going to happen. Like, I don't remember any of these people being there when the market was at a peak only two weeks ago. And I think that's a good reminder, Bob, that markets can turn on a dime. You're not going to have some gifted knowledge to know this is the time to move your allocation and do something else. And that's why it's so important to be proactive in your investment strategy. So if you know you're taking too much risk right now, you know, the thing is, don't wait. Start to allocate your portfolio properly now. Yeah, I think that's what this week was. It was a wake up call to whether you're taking too much risk in your portfolio or not enough. And it's time to rebalance that risk, you know, against your goals. 
because we're always constantly rebalancing against certainty and uncertainty. Is there anything you're uncertain about today, Rye? Me? I think I'm uncertain about everything. <laughs> it's yeah. like, it's hard to go outside your door without worrying about, you know, especially if you turn the news on, right? I mean, then you forget it. Your uncertainty goes up by, you know, at least tenfold. Yeah, I mean, you know, I sat down before today's show and made a list of things that I'm uncertain about, and I'm up to 50, and I'm sure I'll <laughs> get to 100 by the time we're finished. There's never any certainty. Here's what's certain. Time passes and markets operate and you can't control either of those facts. So yes. you, you have to have a plan, you have to have a strategy to deal with the inherent volatility of life. Yeah, and I think that's where we talk a lot about having an all-weather portfolio, meaning that you just wanna have a portfolio that's prepared for whatever could happen. You know, I think there's a lot of emphasis on, well, we think that interest rates are gonna go up or the US is gonna be the best place to be. It's a foolish strategy because you don't really know if that's the case, and it may not play out that way, and it usually doesn't play out the way you think it is. So I think you have to have a strategy, Bob. It's almost like the just in case, right? Just in case the U.S. doesn't do as well, just in case the market's at an all-time high, and then all of a sudden it does swoon in October. Are you protected? Are you prepared for that? Yeah, and it's not about being right or wrong, right? It's about being invested for a total return strategy. So you know, it's just uh, diversification is a key. That's where you have some certainty and you wanna have a strategy that's time tested, you just don't wanna take more risk than necessary. And most people don't, but if you're feeling it in your portfolio today, then that means you probably are. Yeah, and it also reminds me of another metaphor, Bob. A uh, bad apple spoils the whole barrel. And I think that has a lot to do with how are you allocated right now. And I think one of the big problems is if you're getting close to retirement and you're relying on your portfolio going up with the stock market every year, that's a really bad strategy, as again, you can see when the market goes down, that can have a detrimental effect on your entire financial life, just having a portfolio strategy that's solely dependent on appreciation of the markets. Yeah, I call those one trick ponies, right? I've seen it over the years. One of the advantages that we have is dealing with thousands of people and, and, and meeting with people every week is we see you know, where people are putting too much risk, right? There's, you know, it, it's been in the fang trade. Right before it was was energy stocks. Nobody calls me about oil stocks anymore. Biotechs were a big hot area years ago. But you've been warning everyone for months about the fact that there's too much large company growth or too much technology in their portfolio, and now it's coming home to roost. Yeah, exactly. You're probably feeling the pain. No pun intended. Being our last name, you're probably feeling it amplified right now if you've owned the hottest stocks in the market because the laws of the market are whatever goes up the most eventually comes down the most. So it's just one of those reasons to reminder of, okay, maybe you're getting close to retirement or you're in retirement right now. And do you really want a portfolio that's at the whims of the market? And the whims of the market can be extremely volatile. Or you got to build a portfolio. You got to start thinking about, do I want a portfolio that's consistent and reliable? And it's not just dependent on one or two variables. If you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a real plan that's tied to my goals, that's not dependent on big market fluctuations. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you. Our total financial master plan, we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic, real financial review where we look at everything. Simply just print off those financial statements, put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so we can get a whole bird's eye view of your entire picture. And we're going to look at all those critical components to your portfolio. And we're going to look at things like diversification. What does that really mean? It means, is your portfolio protected? When the market goes down like it did in the last couple of weeks, are you protected? Are you reliant on too much market volatility? We're going to look at fees. Yes, there's a lot of hidden fees in investment portfolios. I know it's hard to believe. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs are. We're going to show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Having a reliable stream of income in retirement is critical. Is your portfolio optimized for retirement? Can we fill in that income gap? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. And all you have to do is call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 
752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye, and we are the Paynes of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. So I want to wish everybody a happy Halloween, trick or treat. Well, it certainly wasn't a treat to be invested in the financial markets as stocks globally declined across the board this week. On Wall Street, the best performing stocks leading a bull market are commonly referred to as the generals. And just like an army, wherever the generals lead, the troops will follow. Well, the generals on this bull market have been the so-called FANG stocks made up of Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. And two of those generals, Amazon and Google, led the market down after their quarterly reports disappointed investors and failed to meet analyst expectations. Now, there's another expression on Wall Street that all markets revert to the mean. Like a rubber band that's been stretched too far, it must be relaxed in order to be stretched again. This is exactly the same for stock prices. Stocks that get overextended in one direction, whether up or down, always return to their long-term average. Now with Amazon up over 80% earlier this year, it was time for this general to return to its mean. Now the rest of the market or the troops wasn't up 80% this year. And with this pullback in October, Valuations have only become more attractive, with the S&P 500 now trading at a much lower P.E. than we were just at the beginning of 2018. And U.S. economic growth came in at 3.5% for the third quarter, much better than expectations. So stock market corrections, well, they're unpredictable, they're temporary, and they're part of the natural order of a healthy, functioning market. This is the fourth longest bull market and the second longest economic expansion in U.S. history. Now, since the birth of this bull, way back in 2009, we've had pullbacks almost every year. We've had corrections of 16%, 19%, 12%, 13%, and most recently, 10%. And the only year that we didn't have a pullback was 2017. Now, that's not normal. That's an anomaly. But trust me, I'll take any year where we can go up every month, month after month, but we know that's not normal. Now, even with all these corrections during the course of the bull market since 2009, at the beginning of this month, our market hit all-time record highs in price. That was only three weeks ago. All of these dips were temporary. All of these dips were eventually met with new highs, and with each correction, patience was rewarded. And I don't expect anything different this time. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio appropriate to my goals, to my dreams, to the current volatility in the market? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne. No pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I like to give you common sense advice you can use for your own planning and investing. And that's why we put together our video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's just a great baseline to get the planning process started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish. Text it to 555-888 what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's just a great baseline to get started. Make the financial planning process a little less overwhelming. You can text the word bullish to 555-888. Download it for free. Text the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, for most of us, our retirement plan at work tends to be a very large portion of our net worth. And because it's a large portion of our net worth, some of the decisions we make about that plan or that savings is going to have a huge impact on our overall financial health. So I thought it would be a good thing to discuss is just some of the bigger mistakes 
that we see people make when it comes to their retirement assets. And you know, one that I see very often is we tend when we leave an employer, we'll keep our big balance in that former employer's 401k plan. And a lot of times that's not the best decision. You know, Ryan, the honor of Halloween, we have to recognize that in 401k plans, you have the most scary, horrible, insidious investment in the history of investing. I know the answer to this. It's bond funds. <laughs> yes, the number one reason you want to roll over your 401k plan as soon as you can to an IRA so you can buy bonds that come due. You know, bonds are a very important part of your portfolio. Don't you agree, Ray? Yeah, I mean, you have to start creating safety in your portfolio. And we talk about this a lot. Converting your portfolio from a wealth accumulation portfolio, that's when you're working, you've got a long time for retirement, you're socking a lot of money away. But again, as you get closer to retirement and you're in retirement, the stakes are a lot higher and you've got to build safety in your portfolio, Bob. And you know, our belief is if you're going to do it with bonds, you need to own your bonds outright, not own a bond fund. Here, I got a quick quiz for you. Name one bond fund that's showing a positive return year to date. I imagine with interest rates going up because bond prices do the opposite, they go down, that every bond fund right now is in negative territory. It's in negative territory and it has no hope of getting your money back because of their heads you lose, tails you lose investments. So it's not just the bond funds though, right? I mean, when you look at a 401k plan, you typically have a very limited menu. When you have an IRA, which you can transfer your money without paying any you know, tax to the IRS, right? It's, it's an, an in-service transfer or it's a rollover when you retire. So it maintains that tax deferred status. You're able to invest in all the great investments that are available you know, in the marketplace. So it's yeah. not just the you know the bond funds, it's a whole limited menu. Yeah, that's right. You have a limited menu, and the other thing is you have a lot of hidden costs, typically. Typically, the funds they recommend are higher costs, and you don't see that come out, obviously. It's hidden inside the funds that you own, but a lot of the plan administrative costs, your employer is not picking up the tab on that a lot of times. That's coming out of your pocket. So those costs can really add up when you start to really look at what you're paying in that 401k plan. It's not necessarily a cheap plan to be in. No, it's not. And it's not the employer's fault either because they have to provide the ability for everybody at your company to take out loans. You know, they have to provide all these bells and whistles that come with cost, which you don't have in an IRA because it's your money. You determine the cost. So I think, you know, it's very clear that if you have a 401k and you're retired, put it into an IRA. If you're over 59 and a half and you're still working, call HR immediately and see if you can do what's called an in-service distribution where you can transfer that money without any tax implications to an IRA. If you have a bunch of 401ks, you want to consolidate them. Yeah, that's a good point too. By consolidation, a lot of times you can bring your fee down even lower because you can negotiate a better price. The other thing is, another big mistake is you probably have a lot of money in some sort of retirement plan. And what kind of maintenance are you doing with that plan? You know, We talk a lot about Bob, proactively rebalancing your portfolio periodically. If your strategy is just like, let's let this ride, and you might be very tempted or have been doing that because the market did so, so well the last couple of years, except not the last couple of weeks, that you haven't been doing any sort of active rebalancing. So I think the other thing is, we kind of set it and forget it when it comes to our 401k, and that's a really bad strategy because as that balance grows, it becomes more important and it needs more maintenance. So you really need someone keeping an eye on those on that asset as well. It can't just be a set it, forget it type strategy, Bob. No, it's so true. And, and a lot of times there's a lot of efficiencies you can create by rebalancing that portfolio in concert with all the other portfolio strategies you have. I mean, I mean, a lot of times 401k is your biggest investment. A lot of times it's not. And you want to make sure that you're, you know, being tax efficient. You want to make sure you're being cost effective. And if you think about all of your investments, I always like to talk about a suit, right? It's like having you know, a portfolio and each pocket represents a different part of the portfolio. It's all one suit, but it's all yours and it all should be balanced against the risk that's inherent in the stock market and the bond market. Yeah. And that's also why I like, I love our 360 portal, which you talk a lot about. I mean, there's just so much value. And if you have a 401k here, maybe over here, you have a brokerage account with your brother-in-law. I don't know who it is. You have a bank account over here. It's so, so valuable to you when you're trying to come up with a plan to be able to access and see all those things in one place and know exactly how things are allocated. Because to your point, Bob, if you have them all working together, there's so many things that you can do from tax advantages 
managing risk better. Having that bird's eye view is such a big, big hurdle to get over to really get yourself what I would call retirement ready or really on top of your your game in retirement. You know, and it's not just that. You also should have your portfolio analyzed by a professional. I just did that for a client of mine the other day, and it turns out it's a huge company, you know, nationally known company. They don't have an in-service distribution policy. They have a menu. It was those limited menu I've ever seen in my career. I'm not talking about a blue chip, well-known company traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And, you know, the employees have gone to management now and are demanding changes. This is your money. This is your future. You can make changes, demand changes that will help you in your overall strategy. Oh, and it gets worse. They had an article this past week that a lot of the big asset management companies that provide mutual funds were sticking their own funds into the plan. Mm -hmm. So the employees had to buy those funds and they were higher cost funds. And that's been being a big, big controversy. And there's a lot of lawsuits around that. So, you know, no conflict of interest there, right? Yeah, a little bit of a conflict of interest. So it's kind of, it is important to evaluate if you have a good 401k or have someone look at it to see, hey, are there conflict of interests here? Are the costs too high? What are my options? And again, if that's a big part of your nest egg, it's really important to get on top of that. So if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I need to be financially healthy. I need to know what my costs are, not just in my 401k, but my entire portfolio. I need to know if I own a portfolio that's appropriate you know, to my stage in life. I need to know what fees I'm playing. I need to know if I'm in a position to succeed. Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next few callers and you've saved at least 200000 for retirement, we'll create for you a full holistic review where we'll look at everything. It's the only review you'll ever need. You gather all your statements, put it in a folder, stick it in a shopping bag. We're going to review everything with you and build your own personal 360 financial portal which will allow you to review everything in real time to help you to become financially organized and view your complete financial life in real time at your convenience. Not just your portfolio valuation, but your entire net worth updated on a daily basis. We're gonna also look at your portfolio. We're gonna break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, true diversification, low cost, and high income. We wanna make sure that your portfolio is diversified across asset classes and within asset classes to give you the most return with the least amount of volatility. We will look at your cost, your fees. There are hidden costs buried deep inside that annuity contract. In those mutual fund prospectuses that you throw out that come in the mail every every month or two, there are deep hidden costs that need to be revealed. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged and I certainly don't wanna be overcharged by something as simple as my portfolio. And lastly, there's that retirement income gap that we have while we're retired or when we're about to retire We want to be certain that we have a repeatable, dependable income stream while we're enjoying those retirement years. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total personal financial master plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? For over four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with the highest odds of success, and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844 752 Six six nine two. If you're one of the next ten callers, you have over two hundred thousand dollars saved for retirement. Take advantage of our review at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. It's time for financial propaganda of the week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what did you find out there this week in the horrid, scary, <laughs> spooky, at least some Halloween terms in there, world of financial propaganda? You know, Rye, it was really a collection of, of media events and articles and, and newscasts where you have people that I call perma bulls and you have people I call perma bears. 
Now, of course, when the market declines, like it did this week, you're going to always have the perma bears front and center telling you that I told you it's so. the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> yeah. The problem is they've been telling you that every year. <laughs> so it's well, exactly. broken That's clock why they're perma bears today. Right? Yeah. They roll these people out and they said, you know, in 2011, the market's going to go down 40, 50 percent. They were wrong. And then they tell you again in 2012 and 2013, 2014, 2015. But the fact of the matter is we're in not the longest running bull market in history. For the record, it's not. Right Second now, longest. it's uh, only the fourth longest. It oh. could end up being the longest, right? But in every bull market in history, Rye, there's corrections. And yes. this is no exception. No, it's a good point. And I think we do forget that on average, the market has a 5% plus correction every year. So to have a sell-off like we're having right now is very, very normal. It has nothing to do with the fact that we might be going to a bear market. That's just normal market volatility. Well, it is. And I think, unfortunately, we are all scarred by the two major bear markets that we had in 2008 and 2000. You know, seven years apart, everybody thinks that's normal. Where the fact of the matter is, those types of declines are very abnormal. They're very infrequent. And no one can time these things. But you know, one thing I want you to think about right now, and I think everybody should be thinking about right now, Rye, is that when the market bottomed in March of 2009, it rose 26% in three months. It rose 46% in seven months, almost 66% in one year. So as fast as it goes down, it comes back really quickly. And it's hard to see, right, when you're in the middle of the of the sell-off and all the pundits are saying, you know, this is the end of the world. In fact, you know what I'm thinking about, though? Isn't this the greatest industry in the world because it has the shortest term memory? You can come out and say the market's <laughs> going to sell off every year, be dead wrong, then you get it right once and no one mentions that you were wrong for like, you know, it could be 10 times in a row. It's like that's completely forgotten. And I think that's just a wonderful thing about our industry. It's uh, you can you can reinvent yourself over and over again with the same wrong message. <laughs> it's crazy. That's why we run this segment every week on financial propaganda to warn you against charlatans like perma bears. Yeah. They're on there all the time. And in the articles that I read, they actually lie to you about the perma bears record. Oh well, you know he predicted the crash in, in 08 and got everybody back in and then got everybody back out again last month. And the yeah. fact of the matter is, they never get in. They never invest. They're not investors. They're newsletter writers. They're either selling you a book or a newsletter. My message is avoid them at all costs. Yeah, I mean, there's this funny. I was I was going to my apartment the other day, and, and one of the the realtors she was in the building, and we like to talk about the markets, and we're talking about the market volatility, and she says to me, "Well, you know, there's a lot of traders making a lot of money in this volatility, and that's BS. <laughs> you know, it's, there's, there's this there's this fallacy that there's these these market you know gods." These traders that are they're out there making big bucks. It's not true, you know. There's they, mm. it doesn't really work. And in, you know, you always say it best, Bob. If these traders were so smart, why aren't they as wealthy as Warren Buffett? And as we know, Warren Buffett is a long-term investor. He's a buy and hold. You know, he buys things and holds them for a long time throughout this market volatility. So it's just it's just a complete myth that there's these you know these market trading gods that are figuring out when to get in, when to get out. It's just not true. Well, you know, the market is representative of just all the companies in the world combined, you know, that are growing. The reason you should never panic out of the marketplace would be like selling your company right now. If you own a company, you're selling it right now because simply because the price is down. Or if you work for a big company, you're, you're advising management, you should sell the company now because the price is low. I mean, yeah. it doesn't make any sense at all, right? And companies have intrinsic value. But, you know, the market pricing is like having a crazy uncle who determines you know, each day, what what your the price of your company should be. One day it's worth a lot, next two weeks, eh, not so much. Yeah, I love that analogy. It's your crazy uncle. Um, <laughs> another another, just talking about a lot of the propaganda that's out there right now. I, I caught an article, and there's a lot of articles like this. Midterm elections loom over the stock market, like mm. this is going to be some big event. And this goes back to what we were talking about earlier in the show, Bob. That when you're in a bull market. All the good news gets ignored and the bad news gets focused in on, which sounds ironic. And I think this is a perfect example of that. There's a lot of noise about the midterm elections right now and how that's going to negatively potentially affect the markets. Yeah, well, that's uh, just another list that's it's on my list of 50 uncertainties that I made this morning, Rye. Midterm elections. I've been getting that question, you know, quite frequently, you know, from our clients. And, you know, it's a great question because it's, you know, it's on the news every night. But 
what it turns out is that over time, the markets do well regardless of who's in power. And typically, it's a divided government. So, you know, what the market really loves is gridlock. So whether you're leaning left or right, you know, when it comes to investing, you want to keep your political feelings away from your investment strategy. Well, I'll tell you a crazy statistic here, Bob. The S&P 500 hasn't declined in the year after a midterm election since 1946. And on average, it's climbed 15%. So, you know, <laughs> not only should we not be worried about it, we should actually be bullish because odds are after a midterm election, and the thinking there is that, you know, whoever happens to be in power at that time is going to really try to goose things up and make the economy look as good as possible, you know, because they're trying to obviously get reelected at some point. So, it actually is. It's a great sign we're having a midterm. You should be excited. That's a very bullish sign based on history. Well, it's almost as if the market shakes you out of the market so you don't make any money when all these good things happen. And, you know, it's like it's darkest before the storm, I guess, is what they say, right? Well put, Bob. I like that. And, you, and the market's your crazy uncle. We got some good, good Bobisms this morning. <laughs> um, and if you're thinking to yourself, I need to ignore this noise, get rid of the financial propaganda, and get a real financial plan, here's your shot to do it. We have 10 slots. If you call right now, and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will put together for you our famous Total Financial Master Plan. It's a full holistic review, a real financial plan. If you just simply bring in those financial statements, wait till they come in this month, or print them off the computer now, put them in a folder. If you bring them in the office, we're literally going to build for you your own personalized financial portal and give you a bird's eye view of your whole financial life. And then we can take a look at all the important components to your portfolio. We're gonna look at things like diversification. Is your money well spread out? Are you protected? Is your portfolio bulletproofed? When the market goes down, are you protected? We're gonna show you exactly how to do that. We're gonna look at fees. Yes, it's hard to believe there's a lot of hidden fees in financial products. Bob and I are gonna show you where all the high cost fees are in your portfolio, the hidden fees. We're gonna show you how to reduce cost. And we're gonna look at income. Income is so critical and so much more reliable than market appreciation in retirement. What is your income gap? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to make it retirement ready. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine that very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money, or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is pick up the phone and call or just text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved over 200,000 for your retirement, we will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation, there's no cost, there's no strings attached. But of course, there's no plan unless you text or call. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain, financial radio. Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone, gird your loins. Let's find out. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. And Bob and I, we always try to give you the most common sense advice we can to make sure you're on track for your planning and investing. And that's why we have our latest video series available, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. Text the word bullish to 555-888. What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive. Just a great baseline to get the financial planning process started, make it a little less intimidating. You can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. You can subscribe to our show. Simply go to BeBullish.com. That's www.BeBullish.com. And yes, Bob's hair is real. Check it out for yourself. It's a pretty good looking head of hair. You got to check it out. Go to bepush.com. You can catch myself and my colleagues most weeks on all the major networks talking about the markets, talking about our insights, what we think is happening. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us directly, 
questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And it's a really good question. We answer them right here on the show. And to help us with questions today, we have our producer, Mr. Mark Haywood, in the studio. Mark, what's shaking, brother? Good to be with you guys this weekend. I'll tell you what, I've gone out, I've done my Halloween shopping, I've got this giant bag of Reese's Pumpkins, and I'm secretly <laughs> hoping that none of the kids will come so I can just sit there and eat candy all night long. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like your, your wildest dream, man, I'm sitting my- on the couch alone. <laughs> <laughs> no one, yes. maybe a beer in your hand and you know, lots of candy I, I like Mark you know simple ones man it, it, that's right man now if my wife is listening this plan is gone and it's going to be like a kale smoothie or something <laughs> instead but uh, one can hope oh man <laughs> you're a dreaming man Mark you're a dreaming I'm man I'm a dreamer big plans well speaking of big plans and retirement we got a question here from Dean about working and when to retire he says Bob my plan has been to work for one more year, then find some kind of part-time work for about four years to supplement my retirement income. But now I'm wondering if I'd be better off just to continue working full-time for two more years and then just be done working altogether. Which is better? You know, Dean, that's a great question. And, uh, you know, Rye, let's uh, let's put in another metaphor, right? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I think that uh, Dean would be much better off to continue to work full-time for the next two years because, number one, you know what your value is, and your company probably values you most since you've been there your whole career. To suddenly leave and go work part-time somewhere else for four years, a lot of uncertainty in that decision. Yeah, I want to also point out that like when you pull from your portfolio earlier, that money's not compounding anymore, and literally you can end up with a lot more money if you work another year or two and let money compound for a longer period of time. So I can say like in my experience that Maybe it's a two-year, three-year window of waiting versus taking money from your portfolio earlier can have a huge impact on your portfolio. So I'm with Bob on this. You want to work a little bit longer here. You know, Rye, it's not just the fact that you're not going to pull from your portfolio, but you know, one thing that I see with a lot of investors that are my age, your health is not always dependable and predictable. I've seen yeah. you know clients, I've seen you, you know, who want to work longer, but physically we're not able to. You know, that old expression, right? The older you get, the faster you were uh, when it comes to our track days. <laughs> it kind of applies here. You know, I think I'm going to feel like an 18-year-old my whole life, but uh, as I pass 65, I'm, I don't quite feel that good anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm now a four-minute miler in, in retrospect. Um, <laughs> I've, got, I've dropped about 19 seconds from my mile time since I've gotten older. Yeah, no, that's a great point, and I think that's why it's also important if you're working with a financial advisor you have to put your portfolio under the stress test. You know, you might need those couple years of work just to build up that base in your portfolio because, God forbid, medical costs are going to be one of the biggest issues you're going to have in retirement because we are living longer. And we love to run that number in there. We always put in what potential medical costs could be. Like, if your portfolio took a $250,000 hit, are you going to be able to maintain your lifestyle? And I would bet you don't know the answer to that question. You know, I think that's a great great advice, Ra. I think Dean should have us run an A to B strategy projection for him. Hopefully, you know, the good news is you find out you don't even have to work two more years, that you're set financially based on what you have now because most of you are taking more risk in your portfolio than you recognize and don't have to continue to work if you don't care to. The best situation is to have that big pile of money you know, position properly, and you can continue to work only if you want to. Let's move over now to Bill in Morristown, New Jersey. Bill says, Ryan, I heard someone say that you should be saving 15% of your income for retirement. We're only saving about 10%, and even that seems like a lot. Are we in trouble? Who knows, Bill, (laughs) frankly. Not to be a a wise guy, but I mean, you know, you don't know unless you're on the numbers, because what's 15% of, I don't know how much money you're even making. If you're making a million dollars a year and you're putting away 10%, that's a lot of money to be putting away. You know, it's over $100,000 a year. If you're making 30000 a year and you're putting 15% away, that's a much smaller dollar amount of money that you're putting away. The point I'm getting at here is, is retirement planning is very customized. What you need to put away versus your friend or your neighbor or whoever is going to be a lot different. Yeah, so true, Ryan. It's not just how much you save, but what about, you know, what are your passive income streams? You know, are you entitled to Social Security? Are you entitled to pensions at all the different companies you may have worked at over the years? How about your spouse? You know, what are their entitlements? So that's just, you know, that uh, passive income stream that you're going to have, you know, when you're retired. 
do you have any inheritances? Do you have uh, any royalties that, that are going to come in, you know, somewhere in later in life? So you're right. Planning is a personalized event and everybody's different. And really, you should never follow any simple rules of thumb. I mean, you tell me that all the time, right? You know, you don't believe in rules of thumb because every individual is unique. Bob, I say a lot of wise things. Let's be real. <laughs> um, no, but this is where the 360 portal that we have is very valuable because you can take inventory. You know, I love the fact that in one place, we can literally load in all your assets so we can see how you're allocated across all your accounts, but that taking inventory parts critical. We can list every income stream that you have coming in retirements. So, Ryan, let me ask you a question. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized did Bill and Dean sound today? I'm going to be harsh today, Bob. I'm, I'm Usually I say a two or three. This is like a one. <laughs> this is this is not good. Let me ask all of you, on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are you? And how financially organized would you like to be? Don't we all want to be a 10? Well, you can be a 10 if you're one of our next few callers and you saved at least 200000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. This will give you the ability to view not only your portfolio values, but your entire net worth in real time on a daily basis or whenever you feel like looking at it. It'll plot all of your goals and show how you're progressing towards those goals on a daily basis and what steps you need to take to achieve those goals with the amount of certainty that you need in this environment. You know, all you have to do is grab all your statements, stick them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone and call or text 844-752-6692. And if you're one of the next few callers and you've saved at least 200000 for retirement, we'll take your entire portfolio and break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification, cost, income. You know, we want to be certain you don't have any overlap in your portfolio. We have too much of a good thing or not enough that's causing your performance to lag. We're going to look at your cost. You know, I don't like being overcharged. I never did. And I hate to see anybody overcharged by their own portfolio. And lastly, income. We can increase the amount of cash flow that your portfolio generates, either by reducing your cost or investing in portfolio strategies that generate higher income. We all need that income in retirement. There's an in income gap once you're retired and you want that gap to be filled, especially while you're retired. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one personal total financial master plan utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years that's correct for four decades we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point a to your point b your goals your dreams with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success so don't waste time call or text at 844-752-6692 that's 844 752 Six six nine two. We have a couple slots left. If you have over two hundred thousand dollars saved for retirement, eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Take the pain challenge at eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure that you are retirement ready and you're making the best decisions. That's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive just a great baseline to get the more overwhelming financial planning process started, making it easier. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a great way to get the financial planning process started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. We have a very, very special guest on the show today, Bob and my colleague, Emily DeValent. Good morning, Em. Good morning, guys. Hey, Bob. Hey, Ryan. 
So this is your debut doing, on the Emily? show. It's very yes. exciting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, I have to say, Emily, anything that needs to get done, Emily, is uh, <laughs> she can probably juggle more things than anyone I've ever met. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> the greatest Ryan. <laughs> multitasker of all time. I try. But, you know, I know you were working on a case this past week you and I discussed, mm-hmm. you know, basically one of your clients who is ready to retire and pretty much said, like, I've got everything set. And then you're like, wait a second. I think we should run a retirement plan, which makes a lot of sense, especially if you're about to retire. Yeah. So I have a current client um, who has an account with us, but you know he's been working and he has his 403B with this company and he was just getting ready to retire. And we thought that it might be a really good time to just you know update his projections, make sure that you know, the income, because he's going to be living off Social Security, and he wants to make sure that his account is also producing income for him, which is going to be really important because he's going to have to make up that gap, that loss for, you know, the the retirement. So we ran an analysis, and one of the things that I did notice was that he had that outside account that, you know, nobody had actually looked at in almost, you know, seven or eight years, I think was the last time he said that he had looked at it. Right. So I asked him if I could take a look. He said no problem. And when we actually <laughs> ran the numbers, he was a little bit horrified. Um, <laughs> he was horrified. <laughs> what is our Halloween edition? Was he, uh, was he spooked? <laughs> it was a little bit. <laughs> he just really didn't completely understand exactly what he had in the account. Okay. So I ran through everything and the numbers actually showed that he was a man that's 65 was actually 90% in the equity market. Wow. Which is, yeah. Which <laughs> a lot of risk to have almost all your money in the stock market. And didn't he say, well, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the account because it just keeps going up, right? That was his, his <laughs> reasoning for keeping it there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're like, until it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he said that, Very you know, well, like, strategy. exactly. Yeah. He had chosen it, you know, seven or eight years ago and it has done really well, which is true. But, you know, these things, I mean, within that 90%, he was 70% just allocated in U.S. large and small cap stocks, which have done really well, but we don't know what that's going to look like for the next, you know, 10 years. So, well, we you went know, over what, that. Emily, this is a great mm-hmm. example of, you know, the market's 10 years older than it was 10 years ago, but so are we. And, you know, just, just like Bill, I was, you know, I was 55, you know, 10 years ago. Um, <laughs> So it's, uh, you know, we're different and it, and your targets have to be different. Your strategy has to be different. And Rai, you talked about this earlier on the show. You know, you, you have to have someone constantly reviewing these retirement plans to make sure that you rebalance based on the, you know, the inherent risk that we face in the markets on a daily basis. Yeah. And I think there was some other surprises there too, besides like, I mean, the risk is crazy, right? You're 90% stocks and not only 90% stocks, it's all concentrated in the same place, which is just long-term a recipe for disaster. But also, and you had said this, he didn't really know what kind of fees he was paying because all the fees were hidden in the plan. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you know, like I said, he hasn't looked at this in seven or eight years and he doesn't have, you know, with his accounts here, he has me calling him, you know, at least quarterly to say, hey, we have dividends in the account or this is what the market's doing. But he had just left that there. So, you know, in this case, he was actually pretty lucky that those things have done really well, but nobody was looking at it. He wasn't paying somebody, but he was paying all these internal costs to really not even know what the account was doing. Yeah. It's like you're paying all these costs to this mutual fund company or whoever's running most of the funds here and no one's even giving it advice. So it's kind of like you're, you're getting no service and paying a real heavy fee for it in your 401k. That's, I call that a bad deal, Bob. <laughs> I call that a horrible deal. <laughs> Bob calls it a horrible deal. And, and the strategy, you can't follow a strategy is I'm going to stay with this until it doesn't work. That's not a good strategy. You have to understand that that the risk is there. That there's a risk of volatility, and that over the last 50 years or last 43 years that I've been advising people on how to do this, you really don't give up a lot in a balanced portfolio, other than you get to sleep really well at night and you get to achieve your goals with a high degree of certainty. I think that's really what you want to look for. Yeah, I agree. So he was extremely overweighted, you know, in these equities, and you know, like Ryan mentioned, he wasn't even diversified within the equities. He was really just concentrated. It was, you know, 70% in that U.S. large and small cap. And then like a little less than 20% of it was just in in an international fund. You know, so he needed somebody to be constantly looking at that and he didn't. So right off the bat, he decided, okay, I understand the risk. You know, I asked him in the next 
10 years, do you want to have to go back to work? <laughs> and it is, Let me guess what his answer was. <laughs> no. it, yeah, he was like, oh, that's the situation. And I was like, yeah. yeah, I mean, if we don't make a change to this and something really does happen, you're going to have to probably, you know, go back to work part time. So he very quickly <laughs> decided that he was going to follow my advice <laughs> and scale back a lot more. And, you know, one of the other things, too, that he had in there was the fact that he actually wasn't going to be able to really generate any income. So I ran the numbers yes. for him and I showed him, you know, this is what you're making. And in his household, his wife still works, but he is the breadwinner and she's only going to be working for another maybe three or four years. And they're going to be missing out on this. It wasn't a huge chunk, but there's a chunk that he's going to have to start pulling from the portfolio if he doesn't make up for it somehow. So, you know, just in income alone by, you know, changing it and and getting into a strategy that's much more, you know, tolerated for him and his situation. I mean, we were making almost about twelve thousand dollars for him just in income every single year that he's going to be able mm-hmm. to use. Yeah, put that in context. I mean, you doubled. You, you said, okay, let's stop being so reliant on the market going up every year, and I'm going to double the income the portfolio generates that you can live on. I mean, they're the kind of common sense steps you need to take. I would say to get your portfolio retirement ready. This is great job in this case, by the way. I mean, this is Thank clearly. You getting this gentleman out of harm's way because, I mean, the risk he has in his portfolio, to your point, I mean, the chances of the market going down at some point and him having to go back to work, that's that's a real thing. So by getting him- I agree, Rye. I think this is another total paying capital management financial masterpiece. Wow. Bob calls it a masterpiece. (laughs) You you, know it's good. (laughs) You know, if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I need a plan like this, I'm probably taking way too much risk. My portfolio is not in context to what my goals are. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Emily will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a review just like this. All you have to do is bring in those statements, print them off the printer, put them in a folder. We're going to build you your own personalized portal, and we're going to look at all these key components. We're going to look at when you want to retire. Is your portfolio aligned with what your retirement goals are? What's your diversification look like? Do you have way too much risk? Are you generating enough income on your portfolio? Can we optimize the income? We're able to double this gentleman's income for retirement so he doesn't have to chew into his principal of his portfolio. And we're going to look at fees. A lot of these 401ks, mutual funds, annuities, insurance products, they have a lot of high costs that can be reduced if you just have the analysis run. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that very critical question, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. You know, let's put your plan to the test. Take the pain capital management challenge. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for retirement, we'll run for you your total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. Of course, there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, it was a great show. And Em, I mean, what a fantastic debut. Thank you very much. An honor and privilege to have you here. I mean, you're you're a real pro, so it's it's finally nice to have you out here on the airwaves. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Big Bob, always a pleasure, my man. I think I'm heading down to North Carolina to get some of those uh, Reese's pumpkin <laughs> with Mark Haywood. That's a great way to keep your health on track, Bob. I think it's a very very <laughs> smart decision. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> Em approves of that, Bob. <laughs> it's been approved. Okay, glad to hear it. <laughs> em says yes. She approves that it. it's, it's good. Well, have a great Halloween. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.